Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. I recently had a request from Iris E to make some stamps and so I was teaching how to do easy sticker stamps. The only problem with the easy sticker stamps is that if you wanted to do letters, you got a little confusing and hard because if you do alphabet letters, they're backwards when you use the stickers. So I thought it would be fun to show you how to make cork stamps. And this is a cork stamp right here. And as you can see, it's got the image, which in this case is the letter S, cut out. And what I've done is created my own cork stamp. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. Now, I must state right up in front, you're going to be using an X-Acto knife and you're going to be using this to cut the cork. So this is really an adult supervision craft. This is not for anybody under the ages of 12 or 13. And I would always suggest that you have adult supervision when using an X-Acto knife to cut something like cork. In this case, what we're going to be using is regular wine corks. I'm going to be using Sharpie pens. I've got my paper and my stamp pad. I've got my X-Acto knife. And just for safety, I'm going to be using a pair of channel locks. And these are what I'm going to use to hold my um, cork while I'm cutting it. Here's the thing, if you don't have these lying around your home or in your toolkit, what you might want to use is a pair of pliers or you could even use like a C-clamp. You just want something to hold your cork in place so that your hand isn't anywhere near the knife blade. Okie dokie, let's get started. So like I said, one of the reasons that I thought this would be fun to show you is because of letters. So what happens with a stamp is your letter needs to be backwards so that when you place it on, it prints in the right direction. So, if you don't know what a letter looks like when it's backwards, what you can do is write, so I'm gonna write my name, Sophie, like that, and flip it over. And then you can see it on the back. So, V, and you can trace it, and now you can see how your letters are going to need to go. So I'm going to do the letter P for you guys. So I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to draw the letter P on the top. And I'm going to use this as my template to see how it, how it goes. Okay. And there's my letter P. Now, what I'm basically going to do here is just cut away all the extra cork around my letter. So, again, you can see why I said you want to have something to hold that cork steady so that otherwise my hand would be right up here, which is awful close to that blade. So I'm going to take my blade and I'm just going to slowly cut down along the side of my letter. Now, I'm just going to cut back across this way from the side. And just be really careful because crafting is about having fun and not about hurting yourself. So pull away the cork so you can see how much is left here. And see, I haven't taken that much off. I've taken about an eighth of an inch. You just need this to be raised up. That's how you get a good print. Okay. Now I'm just going to come around this side here and around this side here, around the outside of my P. Whoop. There you go. And go around to the top part. The nice thing is I really don't have to cut it off the top of there because the roundness of the cork makes that P. There we go, just pull that off of there. Again, see I'm just sliding this in there, kind of whittling it away. There we go. Cut it up a little bit there. Now, it is gonna get a tiny itty bit, bitty, bitty, bitty bit tricky to get that center bit out. Okay, pull that there. 
and I'm just going to take this like this, cut it down in, and I'm cutting, cutting, cutting. And then I should be able to just kind of flick that out of there because it's small. Be very careful. There you go. And now my pea is done. And let's test it out. So I'm just going to take my ink pad, get my cork really, really good there, and then boop, there it is, my pea. And there you see, you can safely make yourself your very own letter stamps out of a cork. For more fun ideas, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. Mm -hmm.